BISD received grant money for blended learning. Here's New Center 25's Valerie Perez live in studio to share more. Valerie? Thank you, Caro. VISD is planning to implement STEM into the district with this grant, not only allowing students to use technology, but also incorpor incorporating more mathematics. Let's check it out. In 2019, VISD created a group consisting of community members, students, teachers, and faculty members to discuss the district's needs. In the process of applying for school grants, the district wanted to make sure they could incorporate programs with more personalized learning where every student could succeed at their own pace. This grant will incorporate STEM by adding math innovation zones with a quality learning model for grades kinder through eighth. Here's more from Melissa Carell, the Director of Innovation. Last year, if you know, we went through, the VISD began the process of a strategic planning. And the first step with, with that was to do a thought exchange. And the question of the thought exchange was, tell me about what you define as a quality school. What would a quality school look like? We were very fortunate that because it's a COVID year, one of the silver linings of that was that there were several grants that were about blended learning. Blended learning is a combination of face-to-face -face and online learning. These elements are integrated together, allowing students to receive a personalized experience when learning about these subjects. As a teacher, when you're in a classroom, your students are at different levels. You have some students who are working well above grade level, some who are working on grade level, and some that are working below grade level. So what this allows that to happen is that personalized instruction. Each student has his or her own pathway, meets them where they are, and then extends them further, so to grow those students. While all this extended learning is taking place, another great plus is that VISD may be eligible for continual funding of $100,000 on top of the original $125,000 grant. They plan for these funds to go towards Hopkins Elementary School and Patty Welder Middle School. For your hometown news, I'm Valerie Perez. For more, head on over to crossroadstoday.com or download our mobile app. Back to you, Caro. Thank you so much, Valerie.